Now I will demonstrate how to import data into Holebase. So you log into Holebase. And you will need to first create a project or either use an existing project. I will create a new project. So I'm going to call this 2015 training. Give it a title. I'm going to indicate that we're going to be using latitude and longitude. We'll set this as a open project and it is a default category. It has some location. It has a client. We'll say it's the Army Corps of Engineers. Our contractor, our project names, etc. Latitudes and longitudes are not required. Use the ASTM configuration pack, and then you can choose the relevant coordinate system. I'll say I'm working in UTM zone 14. Once my project has been set up, you'll see I have it in the list. I can double click that project to open it. Now that I have my project set up, I'm ready to import my data. I go to the data menu, choose import data from the ribbon, choose plog tablet and my default ASTM mapping or whatever mapping I have in my account. I log in with my plog cloud username and password using the whole base data forensics mapping and I choose my project from the project list. This will then download all the data from plog tablet as well as formatted in a fashion that Holebase can accept. Once the data has been downloaded, you can, you can see all the different CSV files and it will indicate if they are valid or not. In this case, everything is valid, no errors were found. If I click Next, I can then choose which boreholes do I want to bring in. I can bring in specific boreholes, select all the boreholes, clear them, and then pick them individually or just import them all. Click Next, and it will summarize the different data that's going to be imported. And here are all the records that are being either added or updated. And now the data has been imported. So if I wanted to view a boring log, I could do a quick log and I could see, let's do our standard borehole plot. So there is our standard hole base boring log.